Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Atlanta United career mode. Today we are going to be um, continuing on. As of right now, we are in second place. I didn't even realize that until I hit the record button right here. Um, but I do want to just grab this for a thumbnail real quick. This is going to be the thumbnail for this video or the last video. I honestly don't even know because I don't know if I got one for the last video. But we're killing it. We're actually on a really good unbeaten run here. We have 39 points with 20 games. So obviously NYCFC still has the opportunity to take it over. We're still trying to catch up to DC United though, who's actually been killing it this season. Um, bottom of the table is FC Cincinnati and Orlando City, as you would expect. Seattle Sounders are first in the West right now. We did just beat them in the last episode. NYC or um, LAFC, sorry, is not doing as well as they are in real life. Um, LA Galaxy and Seattle are tied at the top bottom of the table over here is Minnesota United and Vancouver White Whitecaps so um, pretty decent effort the past few episodes honestly but we're gonna hop into this game obviously as you guys see here it is gonna be against a very decent um, Houston side so we definitely need to keep our focus up but the team is just gonna stay the way that you guys expect it and we will go ahead and hop into this game all right hopping into the game pity back in goal for Joseph's shooting exercises look at that finesse a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve on the shot back at home though against Houston it's gonna be a big game for us I'm just gonna skip all that we know what that looks like we know what the stadium looks like we've seen it enough Martin Tyler back in for commentary bello has been playing really well, honestly. Oh, Joseph's passing for that last like ball right there has not been great for us. Oh, that ball was actually beautiful. That header clearance right there was actually incredible for Miles. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over. Oh, that shot was so team. bad from Joseph. Holy <laughs> God. Let's go, Pity. Please. Oh, there's no way. There's no way Pity missed from there. There's no way. Miles, thank you. Pity. Can't get there. Patiently past guiding the pass through. Well then they come, they're piling into the middle. That's an important clearance. Cabezas. Not a good pass at all. Bro. Needed to be brave, and he was. Gonzalo Martinez. Martinez. Joseph, he's got to have 0% passing. I think he's literally made one pass attempt. He might have 10. His passing has been so bad this half. And there is the half -time whistle. This half has been the most infuriating thing of my life. We're one pass away from scoring every time and somebody messes it up. Whether it's Joseph, Pitti, Barco, Tito, all of them are messing them up. Their passing is atrocious this game. And by saying that, go, my passing is atrocious this game. But, nil-nil. So, you know, can't complain too much, I guess. We're still on an unbeaten streak. Martinez. Here's Gonzalo Martinez. It's good work this as they chase a go ahead goal. We've had so much of the ball. Bumetti. Eddie. Joseph. Martinez. Nope. Nothing. Now Martinez. Urgh. That well. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? Looking for Oy. Very good defending, reading the danger and blocking it away. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. 
Couldn't keep it. Martinez. So much of the ball. Please. Thank you. It's taken so long to score this goal, man. So long. So, so long. The passing has been so frequent. I've I don't know if Houston touched the ball this half. I literally think I just passed it around for 17 or for 12 minutes. This half has literally just been me on the ball, trying to break down that defense. It literally looked like that the entire time. That was the most focused passing I think I've ever had to do. But we, it worked. We got the goal. Now Houston's trying to do the same thing. Let's go, Franco. Sharp in the tackle. It'll be a throw now. Almost time to make some changes. I think it might be a tactical one. Cabezas. Salazar. Marco. Nice. Pity. Nagby. Oh, that pass was so bad from Nagby. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? On the attack here. And this could bring them level. And it does. I literally just got shredded. <laughs> that was such a good play. I literally just got annihilated. Look at this passing. I completely pulled LGP out of position. That was fully my fault. Break quickly when they get possession. Tito. Oh, I thought Joseph was going to get there. Making sure there's no turnover. We're going to draw this game, aren't we? Nice from Franco. This game has been a struggle and a half, boys. This is going to be the last chance of the game. Oh. I tried to get one more opportunity in there, but it was already the 92nd minute. We tried, man. This game was stressful. We had a lot of control in the first half, but we couldn't really get that final pass we needed. Um, I'm actually going to skip this and jump into the next game. But... We really got so close to winning that game so many times, man. But we are still in second place, so we're still in a good spot. I do, st I still, blah, 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 blah. I do still think that NYCFC is going to take us over. Um, but we are pulling away from New England and Red Bulls, so that is really good. Uh, so second or third place is where we're going to end up. We do have a game against DC United, which if we could win this game, that would be absolutely huge. Um, this is a kind of on short notice, so there's not too much stamina probably in this game. So I'm gonna have to make a couple changes to a few players, the usual stuff, left back, midfield, stuff like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and hop into the game. I'll show you guys the changes that I make and uh, we'll try to beat DC United. I think we're playing at home this time, so that's also, that's obviously a good thing. All right, jumping into the game. Again, this is a massive one. This is first and second in the East. Um, DC is pulling a decent a bit away from us. They've been six, point, uh, six points ahead of us for a while now. Um, so this is going to be a very big game. If we can win this game, that is a decent um, swing back. We could actually pull a pretty decent amount of points back, obviously. So uh, this would be huge. I think we do still have a game in hand on them as well. So this would be doubly huge. Because this could actually put us in first place. Or pseudo first place in front of NYCFC who still uh, has a few games to play. So I don't know why their season worked out like that, honestly. 
Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be... We did make a few changes to the team as well. Miriam's in the game. Decide to come over all defensive um, Mikey Ambrose is in the game. Let's go! I just hit my hand on my desk, but that was actually nuts. There's no reason we should have just scored that. I'm actually really curious to watch this back because that was the most scuffed thing ever. But let's see what happened in this. He took a chance to get in Little cross from Miram. A weird him. half no, shot from Rometty ended up turning into a pass to Joseph. Little touch right there. I don't know. That was a really weird goal, but we ended up getting it. It's Joseph's 17th goal, I believe, in the MLS. Uh, so still, I believe, in first place as well for uh, the Golden Boot. Stole the ball right away off the kickoff. Ooh, that was a good tackle. That was a beautiful step up. I just his left foot just not gonna work like that. Well, ten out of ten for invention there, but you'll uh, hope to do better next time. Martinez. Pity. Let's go. We do not deserve the lead in this game. DC has been all over us this half, but 2-0 up to us. I don't even remember the first goal. That's how this game's been going. It just feels like DC has been over us all game, but we're 2-0 up against the number one team in the East right now. This is absolutely huge if we can get this game. Nice little hold up there from Joseph to get Pity on the ball. Beautiful finish from Pity as well. Might be eighth goal for Pity. Something like that. I should have just checked that right there, but he's getting up there. I think he's almost in double digits. Goal for Joseph, goal for Pity. Let's go, baby. Let's go ahead and hop into the second half and see what we can do. But if we can keep this lead going, I want one more goal just to feel safe. But we might actually manage to win this game and put us in a really good position to get that first place spot back. The ball is on the roll again, and the second. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Rooney! What's an important goal? The one time I try to pass out of the back and Rooney grabs the goal. Absolutely awful pass from LGP. This must be a through ball to, to Mikey Ambrose and literally went straight to the defender. This game sometimes, man, that's not that hard of a pass. I just don't get it. It wasn't a first time pass either, was it? Anyways. Like I said, I wanted to get one more goal just to feel safe, so now we really need it. They can spread the play now. Can they hang on to this one goal lead? The fans are trying to play their part in Oh, let's go, Heinemann. Please. 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 Heinemann. 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 Let's go. He was celebrating before the ball even went in the net. Let's go, boy. We took Joseph and Pity out and put in Barco and Heinemann, and Heinemann comes up huge. For a goal that was absolutely beautiful he literally was celebrating he started celebrating before he even got in the net that was so sick <laughs> love that look at this finish right whenever he hits his finesse he starts celebrating yes he was celebrating right away let's go lad let's go 3-1 that's the goal that we wanted the countdown is on we're in two minutes of i'm into barco Heinemann. julian julian Heinemann. Oh, the pass right there was so bad from Julian. That was my bad. But we get the win. 3-1 against DC United. This episode is massive. Absolutely massive beating Red Bulls and DC. That's this episode, right? I think. But we get the win. That should move us closer into second place. Let's check out the table. I'm skipping the, I'm skipping the interviews again. If you guys want me to keep doing the interviews, let me know. But when we're winning, um, our... Our players' happiness goes up, obviously, so there's not too much of a reason for me to do them. Um, whereas if we lose, maybe I'll do the interviews so that I can kind of counterbalance the team's morale dropping a little bit. But in the table currently, we have moved into second place on 21 games, right? Or yeah, 22 games, sorry. And DC's played 23. So if we win, and we win by four goals or more, we could actually move into that first place spot. Um, but of course, 
Uh, NYCFC still has four games to get five points to take first place back. So if we can actually just, if we can get ahead of DC, we can actually steal this second place spot. Um, and the West LA Galaxy currently is in first place. Now for the Golden Boot, we have 18 goals of Joseph Martinez now, absolutely killing it. Uh, so we're still in the lead there. We've been doing incredibly well. In the next episode, we're gonna be playing against LAFC. This game is going to be super, super vital. We're in July, so obviously you can already tell we're getting closer to that at those October playoff games. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below how excited you guys are to see the series going to the playoffs, us finally learning how to play FIFA 20. It's been great. If you guys are enjoying the series, though, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.